Hi everyone, Nick Corvello again, and I'd like to welcome you to a special. Not sure whether to consider an actor core special or just a spe another type of special of my own. But uh, yeah, welcome to it. Uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while since starting actor core. I wanted to document my uh, my path or my journey each time, my typical journey as I go through an audition in the San Francisco Bay Area, kind of like the typical things that, you know, both um, actors, actresses in the Bay Area, you know, deal with, as well as my own personal things. And I just never had time to do it, but uh, today I have another opportunity, since I do have uh, another, like, typical audition to go to. And, yeah, and it's also because, you know, since I had the um, professional photography shoot with uh, Ray Chang back down in L.A., I'm soon no longer going to need my non-professional photographer headshots, the ones I took from picture people. Um, so, yeah, today's the day. And I wanted to do this with another person holding the camera and, you know, asking me questions and going on an adventure. Send out the word on Facebook, uh, no one really responded in time, so that's fine. I'll do it on my own. And... Okay, two emails. Not going to care. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm getting ready for an audition. It's for a Discovery Channel project. Uh, I'm not sure how much I could talk about it. There's no NDA, but still, they just don't like uh, revealing too much about it. But, uh... Yeah, so I'm doing that. It's, uh, I guess, a semi-serious role. Basically, it's a Discovery Channel, you know, like one of those uh, reenactment type things. So, yeah, I'm going uh, pretty, uh, you know, formal-ish. Well, then again, here. You see I'm in a dress shirt, and you can also see going down, scrolling down, I'm... I'm sorry for the angle, but, yeah, you can see... Yeah, and I can see over here, you know, dress shoes, dark brown slacks, and then, yep, yeah, uh, dress shirt. Uh, this is, I mean, this is pretty much like, you know, a good sample of audition wear for pretty much any actor trying to, you know, get in. It's a very good s standpoint base because it's not too formal, you're not in a tie or suit or whatnot. You know, I've seen some actors go in suits before especially for, like, roles that require some type of suit or something, some type of formal look. But I've seen them, in, you know, casually going in in suits and whatnot. Hey, no problem with that. I mean, you know, that's that's what they want to do. Otherwise, this is fine. I mean, you definitely don't want to go to an audition like jeans and a t-shirt or whatnot. I mean, that's obvious for most actors actresses anyway, but... Um, yeah, you typically don't want to do that. The one exception I'll say that I wore... Um, something like that during an audition was uh, it was an audition for a student film at Academy of Art and the story premise revolved around uh, like a gang of like basically metalheads well there was one gang of like BMX bike riders and another gang of metalheads and they were warring and I was auditioning for the gang leader the metalheads gang and basically yeah, I mean, since I'm a huge metalhead myself, I really wanted to make an impact and show this guy, it's like, you know, I can live this, I can embody this. So yeah, I came out in my uh, Juice Priest shirt, the Reunited 2004 t-shirt, um, which I got Ozfest uh, at that time, and jeans and basically showed them, it's like, yeah, <laughs> this is me. But that was the one time exception, that was like a character role, and if there's a character role similar to that, sure, I might do it again, but otherwise... You'll see me looking as nice as I can while still maintaining uh, a casual look, too. So, dress shirt, slacks, you know, dress shoes or otherwise just, you know, nicer shoes will suffice. Free tip for any aspiring actors and actresses. Look presentable in auditions. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm I'm dressed, I'm about ready to go, and I should be going soon because uh, my BART uh, trains will leave without me if I don't go soon. All right, so here's some of the other things I have. Um, sometimes I do listen to music. 
uh, when I on BART, but not today since I'm doing this. This is the other thing. Um, you can see I get my prints done at Walgreens. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool, and I was going to show that too, but, you know, I figure since they'll kick people out who try to put a camera in thing like most places. But, yeah, I get my prints at Walgreens, um, and I keep the folder too because I like to, a place to keep my acting resume over here. If you want to ask me about some of the credits in detail later, you can. Of course, they're on my Facebook page as well as my IMDb, both of which you can look up through my Facebook page. And this is the headshot I'm using. I'm sorry it's not too clear. I mean, it's, you know, dark lighting and whatnot, but... Yeah, um, this may be the last time I use this shot. Uh, this is one of the shots I took at a Picture People. That's where I went to get these headshots. I mean, I couldn't afford, like, a four... You know, between two to four hundred professional photographer. So, yeah, I went ahead and uh, went to Picture People. It was a pretty good rate. It was, what was it, seventy-five bucks for... Um, like two finished pictures, I think. Like for the entire shoot, was 75, and then I was allowed to pick uh, two, three pictures. One of them I didn't really use because it makes me look really fat. And this is the time when I was looking pretty fat. Well, also, I'll wait since then, but yeah. Uh, yeah, last time I'll be using this picture. It was a pretty good picture for like a serious stuff. A lot of people say I look angry too. But yeah, so I'm using those, and yeah. Again, same with the Walgreens, I'd take this, this is the picture disc. Here's the other headshot I'd use, you know, my easygoing casual headshot. Not not that size, obviously, that's just the cover on the album, but yeah, I went to picture people. So I can say, I mean, they do pretty good work, you know, if, if you're just starting out. So if you're just starting out as an actor and actress, I recommend uh, going to uh, picture picture people they can they can take care of you you know find the one nearest to you I don't know if it's a small chain or not but yeah it's not a bad place to start they I mean they ha I guess their camera people have to be a little bit trained so they know a little bit what they're doing at least yeah so there's that and another tool another networking tool I guess is uh, business cards I showed them off uh, I showed off one of them last time but yeah have a collection of them. I usually keep on hand walk around because you never know uh, what type of uh, connections you'll come across. But um, yeah, you know, ain't anyone you want to meet, anyone uh, who you meet uh, who networks. I mean, it's kind of like a Bay Area thing too. You know, hand a business card. You know, just keep keep uh, keep your name known. In the Bay Area, that's kind of how it is. Almost a lot of word of mouth, a lot of connections. I mean. You know, the, the, film, the film industry relies on, on connections, but, uh, yeah, the Bay Area is almost different because of the fact that you really see the results of word of mouth and networking through it, because that's, you know, one of the main tools. Oftentimes, the only main tool an actor has starting out. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, my preparation. I already brushed my teeth and all that stuff, and I'm ready to go. I'll see you when we get back from the short break. I'll see you on the BART station, BART train. All right, see you in a little bit. Hey everyone, back like I said, and I just made it to the BART station in Millbury, California. Uh, little, little uh, frustrating since I had to park in my, uh, in a different place than my usual. Usually I park a little bit downwards that way, but there was like no parking. I tried the garage, but I forgot how to get through there, so I'm just going to park here. Still relatively close. I think I should make it. Um, yep, yeah, and I still have all my stuff with me. I have the uh, headshot actor I was made in the folder and ball water, which I'm going to bring, even though Bart says technically you can't drink it on the train. You know, I'll take a few sips or whatnot. And here's another thing. I think every actor actress should invest in something like this. Car charger. Uh, definitely handy for, uh, phone charges whenever you are at, on set longer than, like, a few hours. I mean, most people have smartphones, so, you know, combine that, and it's like your phone will be dead by the time the shoot's over. So, and I've seen actors, actresses, like, bring, like, home charges and plug into an outlet of wherever the set is and whatnot. But, you know, if you don't have that, or, you know you just 
don't feel comfortable bringing your home charger, I highly invest in a car charger, or yeah. Mine is from Rayo Shack. It's one of the uh, Intercell brands. Not that I'm trying to do product placement, but I've gotten it and it's come in handy. It's worked well so far. So yeah, um, I'm wasting time though. I don't know when the bar train leaves and my audition's at 1:40. So I'm gonna have to hurry up, get my ticket at least, and then uh, I'll try to film if I'm in if uh, the BART train is waiting. All right. See you back in a bit. And I am now on my bar train. I uh, got my ticket and everything, and looks like I'm going to be on time. Also made a new friend. Uh, her name's Rachel, and she's visiting her boyfriend uh, from D.C. who's working here. Say hello, Rachel. Hello. No. Wait. Did I have a camera point? Okay, there we go. Say hello again. Hi. All right. <laughs> she's absolutely like, what the hell is this creeper doing? <laughs> Why? I want to move. I don't blame her, but yeah. So anyway, um, you know, she's new, so I'm going to... Actually, getting off the same stop as me, so you know, I'm just helping her teach her the ways of Bart's. I mean, I'm I'm a regular now on here, so yeah, um, yeah. So welcome to the city, and <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know when the train will start, so uh, yeah, I will update next time I get off. See you in a little bit. Uh, just letting you know, I just got off a uh, call station, had to send my GPS uh, on my phone to uh, the, uh, the location, and uh, it's down on Townsend Street, I've been there before, it's where I've had a lot of coming of art auditions, I know it'll only take me roughly about 20 minutes to get there on like a brisk pace, so that's why I'm kind of walking pretty fast, uh, through a rush a bit, wait, Oh God, don't tell me they. Okay, well anyway, uh, so that's a quick thing, I'm just going to have to rush to, uh, okay good, on the right track, okay good, yeah, so I'm just going to have to rush a bit to get here, so, yeah, um, I'll update you when I actually get to the location, alright, talk to you in a bit, bye. Hey everyone, Nick again, and uh, yeah. So, sorry I couldn't uh, do a quick thing, uh, check in while, uh, before the audition, but I, like, had made it just in time, so, uh, yeah, I was rushing, uh, this is the audition location, uh, just in case you're curious, I mean, there's stuff inside here, uh, you know, obviously I can film inside there, because, you know, it's not good to, uh, it's not good to uh, film like the audition process. I mean, it's distracting and maybe against rules too. Just you know, because they don't want to see what the, the details of what the project is, obviously. So yeah, I mean, it's an obvious no-no. So yeah, I had to wait till I came outside, and I did. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's a, for a new show on Discovery Channel. That's pretty much all I'll say. Uh, yeah. Um, as far as how I did. Um, it was okay. Uh, it was another improv audition. Those I'm, you know, not as good at. I mean, improv is still a huge weakness of mine as an actor. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was I was okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I mean, it felt okay. I mean, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I did okay. So. Uh, Let's hope the fact that I can shave my head and, uh, you know, shave to a mustache and uh, quit Radio Shack for this uh, is enough for them to cast me. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I may wait here a few more minutes because an uh, actor friend of mine, one I met recently, uh, is uh, coming in for a 2.30 audition. I may uh, stick around just to make sure I say hi to him. So yeah, uh, all right, see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, Nick again. And uh, it's still relatively the same place, uh, just different area. I'm basically watching a car. Yeah, I ran, I, yeah, I got to see my friend who I was uh, waiting for. Um, like I said, recent uh, film connection I made. And yeah, in the words of uh, Will Ferrell, as far as Bay Area goes, he's kind of a big deal. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, actor uh, Michael Stewart. Um, he's been in several projects. Most recently, he was in a Berkeley uh, BMW commercial. He's been playing through the Olympics locally there. Uh, yeah, I mean, he has a huge Facebook following and uh, has started his own uh, networking uh, almost 
this revolution of sorts in San Francisco, basically like really helping to put it on the map eventually. Uh, right now, I'm, uh, you know, he's going through his audition right now. I'm watching his car, and he's going to give me a ride. And, you know, I don't mind watching his car, because honestly, I mean... I fucking hate parking in San Francisco. I wouldn't, mi I wouldn't mind at any of the points that I uh, had to drive here having someone wash my car for me, make sure it doesn't get towed. So, yeah, no big deal. And uh, when he comes out here, uh, you know, I'll, I'll introduce him in a bit. Like maybe a tiny bit surprised. Hopefully not. Pull, he'll roll with these. Yeah, he's he's a pre-seasoned actor. So yeah, I'll do the introduction as soon as I see him come out. But, uh, yeah, uh, this has turned into a rather unusual day. I meant for this to be, um, kind of just, you know, uh, yeah, I meant for it to be just kind of like a typical thing, and yeah, I've been, uh, having some r cool runnings. Had a, you know, the young lady, Rachel, on BART, you know, had a cool conversation with her, pretty much the entire ride through. She's visiting out of town. So yeah, that was cool, and then yeah, going into uh, Michael's story as well. So yeah, I mean, it's kind of an atypical day, uh, despite my intentions. Pretty fun though. Alright, um, don't know how long his audition will be, I just wanted to make sure to say that. And I will get back to you uh, when he's giving me a ride back to the BART, so yeah, stay tuned. Hey everyone, uh, yeah, like I said, I'd update you in a bit. Uh, yeah, my uh, friend who I was helping with the car, like I said, in the words of Ron Burgundy, he's kind of a big deal. Say hello to Michael Stewart. A yeah, big deal in my head. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, he's probably the most networked actor I know. And, um, yeah, I met him pretty much just audition talents. Like, we run through each other on auditions. Yeah. But, hey, you know, he's known a lot of other actors. By the way, um... I've seen that you're working with uh, John Bowles on the uh, writer's cramp. Yeah, that guy's amazing. He's yeah, awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was an uh, amazing set. Everybody's super kind and nice. Yeah, uh, the movie itself is really, really, really quirky. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, uh, the movie Clue from the 70s. So, oh, like, yeah. Can't be characters, uh, very theatrical acting. And, uh, everything is definitely way over the top, but uh, cool. amazing script, really funny. Yeah, so watch out for that when it comes out. I'm definitely gonna watch it, especially since I got two of the, two people to focus on. Um, yeah. Oh, and I did mention the uh, BMW commercial that uh, broke the uh, BMW commercial we were in. Um, yeah. What do you mean you mentioned it? I mentioned earlier. it earlier. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, while I was waiting for you. Uh, <laughs> he, he had a long. Did you show off my BMW? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I figured you would keep that secret. But hey, I mean, we can't. Uh, uh, so I guess let's go. Yeah, Michael's going to take me over to the uh, BART station. Um, yeah, the Powell BART station. I'll try not to distract him with uh, my camera. <laughs> did you see the license plate? I, I did, actually, here. <laughs> now, this guy is a really nice guy, but uh, he has this. World's best. He's got a massive ego. <laughs> yeah, yeah my, uh, so... Anyways, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty self-deprecating. I enjoy life. Yeah. I enjoy my friends. Yeah, you want to mention your Facebook page, too? <laughs> shameless plug? No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> well, I'll shamelessly plug you. Yeah, he has a Facebook page. Michael, it's Michael T. Store. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Michael T. Stewart, search it. I think you could follow through my link, too. I'm a fan officially and also on my personal account and his. So. Yeah, and he's also been doing some awesome stuff for networking in San Francisco for hey, Bay Area the actors. Party, oh, the party, yes. Here, talk about it. Mention it. for Yeah, for uh, SF Actors Network. It's my Facebook page, uh, really designed for people to communicate and help each other. Uh, we're throwing um, an go. actor's gig. Um, it's basically it's a mixer, but it's not really your typical mixer. We're not just going to have champagne and cupcakes. Uh, we're going to rock out. i uh, got two bars lined up here downtown. i got a triple band lined up. we got photographers and makeup artists. And the whole point is everybody to have a good time. And uh, even if you don't meet anybody, at least you got to hear some good music. So please come down either September 6th or 13th. I haven't got the date set yet. Okay, so Coming up. 6th or 13th. I will definitely try to remember that because I'm probably, I'm probably going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm down for drinks, good times, and whatnot. All right, so uh, yeah, I figure probably not best to go as they're driving because it's best not to be distracted in San Francisco because this place fucking sucks driving. I'm single-minded. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not just that. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> I tell you, man. <laughs> hey, man. Shut up. But um, 
Yeah, I hate driving the city. Uh, yeah, so I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, so yeah, um, like I said, that was Michael Stewart, everyone. All right, really cool have a good guy. One. Shock us. All right, and I will update you when I'm back on the bar train. All right, see you in a bit. Hey everyone, Nick again, and uh, yeah. So Michael had dropped me off at uh, Montgomery Station. I took that, and uh, yeah, I'm on my bar ride back home. There's a view here. Yeah, see? Look at that. You see my own reflection there, too. Yep. Typical subway type yeah, stuff. Yeah, the subway doors are now closing. Yep, bar is basically our subway. Uh, for those doors. who live in doors are New York or other subway areas, so yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, head home. Uh, next video will be uh, on the car. Alright, stay tuned. Hopefully you could hear all this too. <laughs> a little bit more relaxed. Uh, just got back to my car from uh, the city and uh, yeah. You know, usually I go and I go home, which is what I'm about to do right now. And uh, yeah, first though, my phone's battery died. And, uh, you know, you've seen the phone before, um, Android 2.3 Gingerbread Upgraded Pantech Crossover. And, yeah, here we go. Um, about to, as I said, car charger, definitely a good investment for any actor, anyone who's on the road a lot, too. Like, if you're on the road a lot, you can basically, all right, come on, open you, there we go. God, go on. It's hard doing this with one hand. Ugh, and it just closed again. Just one look. Okay, there we go. Alright, time to just stick it in there. Oh, yeah, yeah like that. Like that. Alright, I'm not going to make this a dirty show. This is a kid show, after all. <laughs> yeah, right, but, uh, you know, I'll try to keep it as clean as I can. Okay, hang on. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Let's see. I need two hands for this, so. Wait. Clickety clack. There we go. Actually, wait, I should, uh. And it's charging. Look at that. Alright. Cool. And, uh, yeah, I leave my phone usually there, but anyway, yeah, so that's it, uh, on my way home now, catch you in a bit. Hello everyone, and now I'm back home, I uh, just made it back a couple of minutes ago, and yeah, like I said, I mean, I usually get home after auditions, and yeah, uh, the rest of the day will be either typical or atypical, depending, but yeah, I mean, this is, you know. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty atypical day. A uh, couple of random run-ins, in a sense. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, that's generally how I go about auditions. How most actors, at least uh, near me, go through auditions. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, a special little look into the life of a San Francisco Bay Area actor. Uh, yeah. Pretty much it. My name is Nick Corvello. Hope you had a good time with me on this little journey. Take care, and I'll see you next actor core whenever, soon.